You can always tell when a bad situation occurred by the number of citadels that are proximal to one another. So basically, in the course of this fighting, my plan worked out. He had some generals in, so he made a fortress next to mine, taking mine, and then I made a fortress or a citadel behind both of them, getting them both back and maintaining my control of this arc. Meanwhile, I am on my way to building trebuchets and eventually long swordsmen, and I do have a pretty powerful army again that I've slowly built up in my back lines. Actually, this guy's almost healed. I can send him out scouting again. My real goal was achieved, however, because I didn't have the resources to take one of these cities without significant risk. So what I'd done instead is tried to hold this strong point, which will allow me to threaten for basically the indefinite future. But I was able to get everyone around to actually get this city here, which is now growing. Uh, I expanded my happiness by building all those circuses and such. And now I'm not really going to prosecute an aggressive war so much as harass while I let everything grow out. I'm mainly focused on my domestic policies now. At least until such a time as I'm going to suddenly either take Thebes or crush up here and cut Thebes off from the rest of his empire. So right now I'm just cycling units around here in this relatively safe place. Let's see, I would like to repair that citadel. Which will require another turn. Can this guy get up there? Let's see. So domestically, my plan is just to continue to build out all these workshops. I'm going to power through Notre Dame because that extra 10 happiness will really set me up. And then I can actually build another city here, which will be a little bit, even though I'm going for a culture victory, that'll actually slow me down. So, but I think the benefit will be, this is a an excellent spot for a city, and it'll give me a second coastal city that is also very easily defended. Not as easily as Tomoic, which will basically be invincible to a sea attack once I put some sort of range unit here and here, defending the harbor. So if I build the city here like I'd planned all along, which is a great spot, I'll need to put units here and here, and because of this dip in, I'll probably want them here and here too if I can. But that'll be fine, because bristling coastal defenses here, coupled with decent uh, land armies here, since the ships can't attack these cities directly, should make me pretty invulnerable to any invasion for a long, long time to come. So my main focus now is going to be building out my domestic front here, building out my manufacturing capabilities, and making myself an industrial and scientific powerhouse that no one can beat. So I have forced peace up here for the time being, and I'm really just trying to focus on my domestic policies now. So I'm going to consolidate, I'm going to make this a nice little strong point, and I'm going to make another little strong point here. I'm not going to defend this, so this is sort of like if you waste time, if when the, eventually a war comes again, coming in to pillage this, that'll just buy me time to be able to fight. But I'm going to keep my army back here, because you see where this is? I've built roads in a triangle here on the citadels. So in the event of a further war, if my army is actually back here, it means two things. It means, one, if somehow he sneaks an army around in the Thebes and tries to come in here, which... Yeah, that human might have dropped out of the game, meaning the AI is even less likely to do this. Then this army could slide in here to defend. Uh-oh, I can't let Egypt settle down here. Egypt better be settling up this way. Or I'll have to conquer them. Or, if it doesn't come in this way, the army can fight here, let him come in a little bit, do some damage, counter-strike, and come straight back through here, and then up... To actually cut this area off. And once I cut it off, I can either absorb and destroy Thebes, giving it back to Egypt probably, or attack uh, one of his real cities. So let's see, we'll play it by ear. So I'm gonna send this horseman out now around the world to start exploring a little bit.
I should really crank out a settler. Of course you won't. I did tell you not to settle by me. We'll see where the settler goes. Well, the road's set up for my settler. I'm probably going to finish Notre Dame, so my happiness will be fine. There's no new luxury resource here is the one problem with building that city. But I think it'll be fine, because I got Notre Dame. I'm very likely to finish Notre Dame. And the event that I don't, I'll just have to build up more happiness buildings, and... Mm, I'll have to decide what I'll do. But this is just too good a spot. I definitely want to, I don't want to leave this empty. If it were a marginal spot, like over here, I probably would leave it empty for the time being. But because it actually is a pretty good spot, I definitely want to capitalize on it. I'll build a settler. Oh, yeah, I can't build it out of Persepolis, right? I'll have to build out of one of my other cities. Maybe I should build it now. Ooh, I'll get that Great Rider soon. I definitely want to let the Great Rider happen rather than changing the city and pulling these people out of the guild. Yeah, declaring war on Egypt would suck because I've got a caravan going to him, so it would mess up my trade routes. Oh no, I should wait and build it out of my stupid capital because I forgot. I did liberty, so I can build settlers twice as fast if I just wait. Yeah, let's turn these work boats out when well, I got the opportunity to do so. Because this is actually... Fort Kickass isn't going to build them anytime soon, so I might as well build them here. And get all these fish resources, which will help all these cities grow.